Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you how I spent $12,225 on Fire Emblem Heroes. I went to seek gambling counsel. I just got off a four hour phone call and he said that, so I've relapsed a day later. I should make a video just so I know how bad it is. I'm not going to lie to you, it's pretty bad. So I'm making a YouTube video for other people who might be addicted to loot boxes and randomness, gotcha games. One of the main problems, not main problems, it would have just been as bad, is I have two accounts. I have a mobile account and then I have a iPad account. So I spend money equally and many times I will get lucky on my mobile account or my iPad account and I have to pull the same unit, which as you can probably imagine is really difficult to do. So even when I'm lucky, I have to be lucky two times. Now, recently I have been incredibly unlucky. I've reached 14% a total or more, a total of eight times. In the last six months, I've reached 13%, a total of 18 times. So the first unit I'm gonna talk about is Free Jorm. I pulled nine of her at $542. Now I don't openly look for Free Jorm, and in fact, when she first came out, I did go really hard to pull her, but I never got any of her. So a orb pack is 75 orbs, which is almost enough to do four circles. At this point in time, however, I was only pulling blue. So once he came out, I bought that mint. I spent this much money on pulling nine of her. Now she is a very useful unit, but that was actually tame in comparison to what's going to happen later. The next unit I spent quite a bit of money on, I'm going to list uh, 10 units, was Veronica. I wanted, I pulled heavily on the Brave and I got one Veronica really fast on my iPhone account, but I, for the life of me, no matter how many orbs I spent, I could not pull a Veronica on my other account. And that's the problem. The problem is even if you get lucky, which I did, I keep pulling and I know, so if the odds are stacked against you, that's bad. But in the case of Veronica, I ran out of money and that's gonna be a common, that's gonna be something really common here is when I ran out of money. I pulled one of the Veronica's incredibly fast, probably on the first orb pack I purchased. Then I could not pull any Veronica's to save my life. Uh, it just didn't happen and I ran out of money. So I used to have my credit card connected. We'll talk about that a little later. It was. Halloween Naui, it was Winter Faja and Original Ike, so I disconnected my credit card. It didn't help though because I purchased gift cards and I felt like I was getting a good deal because on eBay you can get gift cards $85 for 100 and spend. Well, that did not help. Halloween Naui was a crazy unit. She is one of the only units that I could not get on my other account. So eventually, with Veronica, I got another Veronica. But with Halloween Naui, I could not get a Halloween Naui. It cost me $600 on one account. I can't remember, 500, 600, it might have been more, but this was the first time I realized, okay, I have a serious problem. I pulled one Halloween Naui, and later on in Hero Fest, or one of the hero banners, the legendary banners, I pulled my second one. However, the first one is, 
I mean, it just cost me a ton of money. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it cost me a thousand dollars, and I do have footage of me trying to pull Halloween Nari. One of the bad parts about this game is even if you pull this unit that you paid a thousand dollars to get her, the IVs. So when I talk about IVs, I mean you can have random IVs or bad. So I desperately, desperately tried to pull the second one and I was not able to. So I spent $400, $500 pulling the first one and then spent another $500, $600 trying to pull the second Bella IV to get it on the same account. At some point, I gave up pulling on the second account, which was stage one. Now, Brave Lucina was very good to me and that is also a problem so sometimes you randomly get a unit that keeps popping up and you want to plus 10 her and that's what happened here now brave ike was the same situation one of my accounts has like a plus eight brave ike and i have never actively pulled for him i've never actively pulled for him so i don't know what happened here but Lots of pity breakers, and I'm, I was always interested in a Hector, a original Hector. So whenever I, I didn't get the color I was sniping, I would pull green, and pop. more often than not, Brave Ike would pop up. So Lucina was not bad. I pulled nine of her and tried. So at some point in time, I think I won Brave Lucina on my one account and the other eight, the plus seven, is on my on the other account. I never really liked Brave Lucina in terms of a unit. I do like Lucina, so I didn't finish her, but I did remember I do remember trying to do that. That I spent out of the six hundred four dollars, the majority of that was spent on that one account trying to get her up as high as possible, but once I ran out of luck, I decided no mas, right? No mas. The first unit that I really wailed on hard was Ike. Now, Ike was a unit everyone said it was going to be the best unit. It was super hyped, and he was in a holy merchant. So the other units with Ike were really bad. I remember pulling Mist. Uh, Mist broke my pity rate, and she was on the same banner as Ike. Which makes sense since C is his sister. But I think Titania was on the banner, Sorin, or there was a lot of really bad units on Lucius. Klein was uh, either this Ike banner or the banner before it, I spent a lot of money because I thought Ike would be the best unit in the game for a long time. So I was w willing to spend money, and this was the first unit I wailed hard on. I got six Ikes. Uh, and really good IV Ikes. I think I have a plus attack. I, I might have two plus attacks. But this was the first time I wailed hard on a, a unit. And at that time, I didn't really have a problem because $900 is $900. And I felt like I was enjoying the game. And I've spent more money gambling, actually gambling at poco halls and uh, travel anytime you traveled i traveled to las vegas yeah it will cost me more than 900 dollars. so i kind of justify it as a one-time experience but obviously it was not so halloween now was very bad but this one was just so bad it was it was bad because it was halloween now followed by winter faja Luckily, the New Year's banner was really kind to me, and I got the Azula. I got all the units that I wanted from the New Year's banners. Uh, the Camille, without spending very much, uh, if anything, it was free to play. But the back, this was the backbreaking. Um, after this unit, I had to disconnect my credit card, which I thought would solve the problem, but it did not. Because all I did was buy gift cards and load my Apple account with thousands of dollars of gift cards. Which you might think is foolish, but I mean, when you are addicted, you're addicted. So things that seem logical when I tell you them 
or seem really illogical when I'm repeating it to you seem totally logical at the time because I was, quote, saving money. So Ike happened, I, I assumed Ike would be a one-time thing. Halloween, now he happened. And now he was my favorite character from the Fire Emblem series. Now, I guess my second. So he used to be my favorite character. Fodger is my favorite one. It went back to back and it was just uh, bone breaking because I didn't expect this one. So Halloween Naui, I also used it as an excuse. Oh, it's just a limited Halloween unit. I'm never going to see her again. It turns out that you will see her again. But at that time, I didn't really know that. We didn't have legendary banners. And who would know? I mean, who knows? So Fallen Silica is a really interesting one. Because even when you're lucky, I got very lucky with Fallen Silica and Brave Lucina's. That luck you spend money. So I kept getting fall, Fallen Silicas every seven, 75 orbs. Every $43 I spent, I would get another Fallen Silica. And I was feeling really good about that because 75 orbs, that's like uh, four circle. But I was sniping, so 75, it's 15. It's So the pity rate never got that high because I kept pulling her and that made me spend more money. So here was the reverse. A lot of times with Halloween Naui, which I still only have one in each account, or Winter Faja, which I still have one on each account, the reason I'm spending so much money is because I'm not pulling her well. In this case, the Fallen Silica, I was doing well, and then I hit a bump, and I hit my... I hit such a high percentage, so not in her Legendary Banner, but in her free percent banner, I remember hitting something like 6.5 or 6.25, which is insanely high. So the last silo cut on each account, very similar to what just happened to me, cost me, that last one is what cost me the majority of the money. So those last two silo cuts cost me $400, $500. The first nine silo cuts cost $500, which is really, really good. All right, Micaiah. Uh, Micaiah, I, w I quit the game. So I quit the game for some time. Micaiah's banner came and went. I didn't even know. And then Micaiah was on a legendary hero banner. Now, Micaiah is one of my favorite characters from Radiant Dawn. And she is a kick-ass character. And I love everything about her. So I knew that if she ever came out, I would wail on her. And since I missed her... I went on a legendary banner. The problem with a legendary banner is very simple. You want your Makaiers, they're going to give you literally everything else. The problem is the percentage of getting a specific unit. You're not going to get pity broken per se, but getting Makaiers was very difficult. Now towards the end, as you can see from my video, I just got a horde of Makaiers, but... In the beginning, you know, the first two Makaiers probably cost me $400. Then the rest of the Makaiers, the 10 Makaiers just kind of came and came. And I kept spending money because I was like, yeah, Makaiah. And that's how I spent $840. Which will get me into the two worst units that I spent money. And it's not over. Obviously, I calculated all the money. Uh, my gambling consultant. I, no, that's not. Council. What is his name? What's his title? Anyway, the person I talked to about gambling wanted me to be really honest about where I am and how bad it has gotten. So I'll get to the other. Spring Kagoro was the one that you guys have seen. Um, obviously, I tried to pull for her. I spent over $1,000 for this one unit. Um, I Well, it's not that I knew it would be one unit. Obviously, I was hoping that I would pull multiples of her. I had quit Fire Emblem a second time and I didn't pull on the spring banner because I didn't pull on that banner. But Kagura was definitely a unit that I thought was very interesting as a unit, so I wanted her. Now there was other stuff like Summer Koran and some uh, Spring Camille that I pulled on, which I'll get into later, but I kind of put them in one bucket 
this is kind of the most extreme 10. So one spring com spring Kagoro cost me twelve hundred dollars. I hit fourteen percent two times. I hit thirteen and a half percent five times. I was pity broken by every unit under the sun, including two phase. And yeah. I didn't even get a Grimma. So the interesting part about Grimma is Grimma has actually been very nice to me. I just he just pops up whenever and it's awesome. But this pales in comparison to the number one unit. Um, the number one unit is Bolin. Now I did not include the the free Bolin. So I chose her like Veronica. I chose her as my free to play unit. And my goal was to plus 10 her for my birthday. So it was my birthday. I spent lots of money on my birthday for, you know, as a reward to myself. So I was going to go full whale to plus 10 her. I got pity broken by not one, not two, not three, by four Rebecca's. At the very end, when I was at plus nine, I got pity broken by two Rebecca's with a insane pity rate. Like it was at least this was probably Hero Fest, I think. It was at least so Hero Fest you begin at uh five percent and then three percent. Her pity was at insanity levels. But all in all, I did have very good luck compared to Kagoro. Uh, this recent str string of bad luck is very recent. Now, random stuff uh, was just daily orbs and all that kind of junk. But also, I had purchased a account. And I purchased the account for quite a bit of money. It turns out the account was doing bad stuff on it. And they suspended the account. Which, you know, I purchased it on eBay. It was two months later. What can you do? What can you do, right? So, yes. Uh, in addition to purchasing a very, very fat account, I randomly spent $3,500. So I'm making this video for me, not for you. It is probably one of the longest videos you'll ever see on this channel. And I don't really care what you think about it, but this is step one, is admitting that I have a problem. And because I've never openly admitted it, I have been angry that I've overspent money and thing, bad things have happened to my accounts. But I haven't admitted that I have a problem. And I didn't realize how much money I had spent until... Because uh, my gambling consultant... No, that's actually bad because that sounds like he's helping me gamble. My gambling counsel, counselor... Yes, that's probably what he calls himself. He said, do you know how much you spent? And I said, yeah, like $4,000. And we went for four hours looking at receipts, calculating tab by tab how much I spent. And that's why I know the money. It's not exactly this, but it's over $12,000. It's $12,112. And I rounded the numbers to make it easier for me to work with. So there is some Dewey Decimal losses. That's enough to buy a car. Uh, luckily, I, I make enough money. Um, I own my own business. So, you know, I always talk about how much money I spent on dogs, right? Like uh, fostering dogs. I spent, I calculated this and it's on my Facebook uh, dollar per dollar. I spent about $5,000 on foster care for dogs. Uh, heartworms uh, treatment is $800 for a medium to large size dog. I know if you ask me a price for uh, heartworms, tube worms, hook worms, uh, what's um, viruses, bacteria viruses, all this stuff, I would be able to tell you. And I can actually tell you how long it takes for them to heal. And that that came less than $5,000. So I'm really embarrassed that 
I could have helped, and at that time I helped 11 dogs, 11 dogs and cats. I could have helped theoretically 22 more. And I felt like I had overspent too much on those foster pets, which is terrible to say, but in hindsight, I need to get over this disease because the money can be spent on, it can be spent to better the community. And I feel really embarrassed and I would not have felt this way unless I actually saw this number and I have something to look at. So if you have a person who has a problem with gambling, um, show them this video or someone's playing a mobile game, fake grand order, don't get me started in fake grand order. I actually spent more money on fake grand order. I'm not willing to make that video right now. Uh, if you think the video would be helpful to you or someone that you know, um, and you're not trolling me, yeah, maybe I'll make the video, but um, I, I just don't wanna look. Uh, my The guy helping me, he wanted me to do that, and it got um, to the point that I just kinda do it. Um, I just kinda do it, so yeah, it's pretty bad. Hi guys.